Welcome back. It's uh, now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. The West Indies went down by 31 runs to Australia in the second T20 International in Brisbane on Friday to lose the two-match series 2-0. The Australians first posted 178 for 7. David Warner top scoring with 75, while Tim David made 42. Alzara Joseph banged 3 for 21 and Obed McCoy 2 for 32. The West Indies were then restricted to 147 for 8 in their reply. Johnson Charles made 29 and Akil Hussain 25 as Michelle Stark took a career best 4 for 20. Jamaica's Brandon King also contributed 23. The Caribbean side will now turn their attentions to the group stage or the qualifying portion of the ICC T20 World Cup where they look to progress to the Super 12 stage. And the West Indies will play their first test in South Africa in eight years when the two square off in three matches in February 2023. The series begins on February 28 in Centurion, followed by the second encounter in Johannesburg on March 8. The series will be preceded by a four-day warm-up match in Benoni against the South African eleven. The regional team have only one win in 15 test matches in South Africa. It will be a full tour consisting of three one-day internationals set for March 16, 18 and 21 in East London and Potchefstroom respectively. The tour is expected to be completed with three T20 internationals, two in Centurion on March 25 and 26 before returning to Johannesburg on March 28. Football is now reggae girl Rebecca, Rebecca Spencer has called out England's Women's Super League for its lack of black players, arguing that there needs to be more representation to inspire young black talent. After representing England at the youth level, Spencer switched allegiance to Jamaica in 2021 and has been the first choice keeper since then. Spencer argues that young black players need to have more players to emulate my friends quite a lot um, so I think safer environments for, for kids to be able to go and play with their friends it doesn't even have to be football but any sport would be a massive thing and having people there that can educate these play like these youngsters to to want to play football because I think it's a massive gap she also explained how players from ethnic backgrounds uh, plan to tackle discrimination in football having found strength in numbers we're role models and I think we need to start seeing ourselves as that even more so I feel like the, there's not a lot of black players in our league so we need to look at how we can kind of change the perception a little bit with how we're going to get black, black youngsters getting into the game because I think there's a, there's a massive gap. Spencer is expected to suit up for the reggae girls to face Paraguay on November 10 at the Montague Bay Sports Complex and at the National Stadium on November 13. That's uh, the full-time whistle, and I am Jeremy Brown. Shane, back to you.